An opening pitch carrying the weight of local baseball history. It's like waking up on the first day of school. You know what? You're happy to be out here. You know what? We're going to brighten up a lot of hearts today. This team, this old ballpark for decades, the heartbeat of the community. But there are concessions to keep the streak alive in a pandemic. About 100 spectators are allowed in, not the usual thousands. Still, getting back on the field is a feat. There's so many behind the scenes people, you know, you want to thank. But just to see everyone come together, it gives me goosebumps, you know. Emotions running high game day again. Knock him down, drag him out. I didn't give an inch to anybody, and that's the way I played. Meet Barry Bugner, a former NHLer and a member of the championship winning 1975 London Majors. Well, probably in my lifetime, this is probably my fondest memories. When you come here, you're in, in my opinion, this is the most beautiful place. In London, Ontario, it's the nicest ballpark, uh, amateur ballpark I've ever been in. There's a treasure trove of memories here. The first game ever played, May 3rd, 1877, between the London Tecumseys and its junior team, the London Atlantics. By the mid-1920s, a popular women's sports league also played here, and in the 40s, the Women's Major Softball League. It's hard to put into words what this park means to me, and I think it means to London. It's a, it's a jewel, it's a gem. Baseball historian Chip Martin says it's only fitting Guelph is taking the field against London. It was because of Guelph this park was built. It was that rivalry. A rivalry renewed to keep a streak alive. Two world wars didn't stop it, nor the Spanish flu, and now this pandemic won't either. A field of dreams built on swampland, a community's connection to history, 144 years and counting. Devon Haru, CBC News, London, Ontario.